Hey class, I'm going to go over pseudocode with you just for a little bit. I know I provided you some material, but what exactly is pseudocode? A lot of people think pseudocode is an actual programming language, but it really is not a programming language at all. So what exactly is pseudocode? So Webpedia defines pseudocode as an outline of a program written in a form that can be easily converted into real programming. Now let me read that once more. It is an outline of a program, a form written that can be easily converted into real programming. So basically it's just simple statements that somebody can write up and they can give to a Python programmer, a Perl programmer, a C Sharp programmer, and they can take that pseudocode and convert it to its unique programming language. So dictionary.com defines pseudo as not actually but having the appearance of. And this is why it appears to be code, but it really is not. So let's take a look at the example that I provided you guys in your material. This one has shows a sequence, and it has three sequences, statement one, two, and three. Now I provided you guys an example, but here's yet another one. So the first sequence is reading the three numbers. The second sequence is adding those three numbers and the third sequence is displaying a total of those three numbers or the sum of the numbers. So here is a perfect example of a pseudocode written in specific desire. That person could write this, give it to a Java programmer, a Python programmer, or a Perl programmer. He would take these commands convert it into the programming language. Think of it as an apple on a table. The apple is a single object and you can have somebody give that apple's name in Japanese, Chinese, English. It's still the same object, but it's conveyed by a different language. Similarly, this is the same pseudocode that could be conveyed by a different programming language. So let's take a quick look at what this would look like in a Python language. Essentially, you would have your three sequences inputting the values totaling those values and displaying the results of those values and this is what it would look like entering the first second and third value putting them into the variable one two and three we would add one plus two plus three and then we would print or display the results so let's take a quick look at what that looks like enter the first number let's do 10 20 and 30 for the third once I hit enter, it'll move from sequence 1 to sequence 2 and 3, and then provide us the actual results, which you see here, the sum of 1, 2, and 3, nums 1, 2, and 3, and then the third one is the total of the sum. So essentially the pseudocode is not a programming language in itself. It is a method for you to write out a desire and then you provide that to the programmer whether that be Python, Perl, C Sharp and they in turn will take the pseudocode and convert it to the actual programming language itself.